moving beyond a severe addiction or substance use disorder, it's not a quick process. It wasn't a quick process to get into it. It's not a quick process to get out of it. Uh, so working with people for a long period of time. Do you have, do you have a specific time frame that you work with somebody or is everybody? It's different? a multi-phase program. Uh, you know, the ideal, we're thinking 18, to 18 months to two years, but it's individually focused. For some people to get through a little bit faster, some people they need a little bit more time. Some people will need more time in the second phase than in the first phase. Uh, but that's what we'll work closely with the individual, make sure we're providing exactly what they need to set them up as best we can for success. But it's not something that, that takes place quickly. A lot of people, they think, you know, oh, somebody's cured. They went to a detox. They went to a, a you know, a, a three-week program. And even a 90-day program, many times, isn't long enough to help somebody change so much in their life. We've got to change thought processes. We've got to help change neural pathways. We've got to help change the body's response to stress and stimuli and, and develop and foster those coping mechanisms. It can take a long, a long time. Uh, but the success rate when you go to successfully graduate through a long program, like an 18-month or two-year program, is extremely high compared to just going through a detox. If you go through a detox, okay, great, that helps you get the substance out of your body, or maybe it helps you live for three weeks without that behavior. But if you're not dealing with that source of pain, if you're not trying to find why that person has such a void, such as need or propensity to escape, then you're not really going to help them out for the long term. It's going to be, a, you know, they'll, they'll move along for a little period of time, then they'll face another challenge, another struggle, they'll get fired from a job, have a setback, for, you know, maybe the holidays come around, a lot of people relapse during the holidays because they have to go back and, and confront whatever that, whatever that trauma or that pain or that void was. Uh, so if you don't work with somebody for a long enough period of time, then you can't really help them change that for the long period. And then through my training, I've had a background studying with, you know, human potential training, self-esteem training, uh, I've got some training or some schooling in pos uh, positive psychology, applied positive psychology. Uh, it's just many different pathways or many different approaches to or tools to help empower somebody to deal with uh, you know, life as, as it is and, and really deal with it in the most constructive and positive way so they can truly live into their potential. All right, you go through the program, mm -hmm. year long, two years, however long it takes, uh, you complete it, that's it, you're done, you're cured, you never have to worry about it again, or do, or do you encourage people to continue getting support Absolutely. with Absolutely. There's some way that you need to be plugged in. So our, our program will really kind of have a third phase to it. It's the people that have successfully graduated from our program. We're still going to cultivate that community, that involvement, have them come back, be mentors at the program for, for future residents, um, you know, do regular social events to get people back around so they can share stories. Like, hey, man, I was two years out, and then I didn't realize that this was going to be a sticky spot for me or a rough patch, and then this is the way I successfully navigated it and helped some of the the people coming behind them. So there's a huge element of service, and that's my other passion is charity and service and using that to really develop a fulfilling life. Um, so, yes, it will be just as life is. I mean, the human experience is a lifelong endeavor, that, you know, dealing with the challenges and frustrations. You know, you can't get through a heartache one time, a breakup and heartache one time, and then think that you'll never face it again or never struggle with it again. But if you have the right tools, the right resource, the right understanding going into it, it can be a much different experience. Same thing with major life challenges and trauma in your life. You know, if you've if you've relied on substances in the past to navigate the challenges and struggles and the pain that you have in your life, but you learn more effective ways of doing that without relying on those same substances and behaviors, then you can navigate it in a better way in the future. But you're always going to, there's always going to be pain in your life. There's always going to be struggle, always going to be challenges. It's really just developing those tools and the awareness to deal with it in a more effective way.